Good morning, everybody, and welcome to morning prayer for Thursday, November 11th, which is the feast day of St. Martin of Tours. Um, and St. Martin of Tours uh, was in the early history of the church, and he was a soldier in his early life. He was raised a pagan and enlisted in the army at 15. Um, and the uh, um, the turning point in his life came early on when he encountered uh, when he was on a tour in the army and encountered a beggar who wanted mm -hmm. to give money or provide charity but had no money to give and so he takes he gets off his horse and he takes off his cloak and he cuts his cloak down the middle mm -hmm. and keeps one half for himself and one half he gives to this beggar mm -hmm. Um, and that night he received a dream where he encountered Christ wearing half of a cloak. Mm. Um, and in his mind, this was, this firms his resolve that he will become a Christian and he is baptized the very next day. Um, and he continues that military campaign, but after it leaves the army saying, until now I have faithfully served Caesar. Let me now serve Christ. He received backlash for, for leaving the army and was threatened and imprisoned for a while. But when peace came, he was, was after peace was signed, he was released. And he became a disciple of Hilary of Poitiers, who was a chief opponent in the West of the Aryans. Um, and, and there was this big debate going on about the full deity of Christ. Um, and so this falls right in the middle and, and um, in figuring out what Christianity actually means. And so for this opposition to the Arians who deny that full deity, he was exiled, um, moved around a lot and finally founded the first monastery in Gaul, which continued to exist there until the um, French revolution. Mm. And then in 371, he was elected Bishop of Tours, which was also a pagan um, diocese. Mm -hmm. um, and there he did, a lot of work in living a Christian life and providing a Christian example, regardless of what folks around him might be, um, might believe and might do. And so one thing that he was really um, passionate about was providing mercy and um, particularly for people that were condemned to death mm. uh, for prisoners of war. And so it's, and so he continued that work throughout his life. And after death, his shrine at Tours became a sanctuary for all those who are seeking justice. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. O oh God, let our mouth proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Priests of the Holy and Undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's say together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Holy One. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving. And raise a loud shout with songs. For you, you O oh God, are a great God. You are great above all gods. In your hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are yours also. The sea is yours, for you made it. And your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before God our Maker. For you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. Harden not your hearts as your forebears did in the wilderness, at Meribah and on that day at Massa, when they tempted me. They put me to the test because they had seen my works. Forty years long, I detested that generation and said, this people are wayward in their hearts. They do not they do know, not know my ways. So I soar in my wrath. They shall they not shall enter, enter into, into my rest. rest.
a reading from the book of Maccabees. After Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came from the land of Kittim, had defeated King Darius of the Persians and the Medes, he succeeded him as king. He had previously become king of Greece. He fought many battles, conquered strongholds, and put to death the kings of the earth. He advanced to the ends of the earth and plundered many nations. When the earth became quiet before him, he was exalted and his heart was lifted up. He gathered a very strong army and ruled over countries, nations, and princes, and they became tributary to him. After this, he fell sick and perceived that he was dying. So he summoned his most honored officers who had been brought up with him from youth and divided his kingdom among, among them while he was still alive. And after Alexander had reigned 12 years, he died. Then his officers began to rule each in his own place. They all put on crowns after his death, and so did their descendants after them for many years, and they caused many evils on the earth. From them, from them came forth a sinful root, Antiochus and Epiphanus, son of King Antiochus. He had been a hostage in Rome. He began to reign in the 137th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days, certain renegades came out from Israel and, and misled many saying, let us go and make a covenant with the Gentiles around us. For since we separated from them, many disasters have come upon us. This proposal pleased them. And some of the people eagerly went to the king who authorized them to, uh, to observe the ordinances of the Gentiles. So they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem, according to Gentile custom, and removed the marks of circumcision and, and abandoned the Holy Covenant. They joined with the Gentiles and sold themselves to do evil. When Antiochus saw, the, saw that his kingdom was established, he determined to become king of the land of Egypt in order that he might reign over both kingdoms. So he invaded Egypt with a strong force, with chariots and elephants and cavalry, with a large fleet. He engaged the king of Ptolemy of, the Egypt, of Egypt in battle, and Ptolemy turned and fled before him, and many were wounded and fell. They captured the fortified cities in the land of Egypt, and he plundered the land of Egypt. After subduing Egypt, Antiochus returned in the 143rd year. He went up against Israel, and came to Jerusalem with a strong force. He arrogantly entered the sanctuary and took the golden altar, the lampstand for the light and all its utensils. He took also the table for the bread of the presence, the cups for drink offerings, the bowls, the gold censers, the curtain, the crown, and the gold decoration on the front of the temple he stripped it all off. He took the silver and the gold and the costly vessels. He took also the hidden treasures that he found. Taking them all, he went into his own land. He shed much blood and spoke with great arrogance. Israel mourned deeply in every community. Rulers and elders groaned. Young women and young men became faint. The beauty of the women faded. Every bridegroom took up the lament. She who sat in the bridal chamber was mourning. Even the land trembled for its inhabitants, and all the house of Jacob was clothed with shame. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. 
Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon God and be radiant and let your faces not be ashamed. I called in my affliction and the Lord heard me, saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you loves life? and desires long life to enjoy prosperity. Keep your tongue from evil speaking and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. <clears throat> the righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all. He will keep safe all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. <clears throat> A reading from Revelations. After this, I heard what seemed to be the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power to our God, for his judgments are true and just. He has judged the great whore who corrupted the earth with her fornication, and he has avenged on her the blood of his servants. Once more, they said, Hallelujah, the smoke goes up from her forever and ever. And the 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God, who was seated on the throne, saying, Amen, hallelujah. And from the throne there came a voice saying, Praise our God, all you servants and all who fear him, small and great. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude like the sound of many waters and like the sound of mighty thunder peals crying out, hallelujah, the Lord our God, the almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exalt and give him the glory. The marriage of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. To her, it has been granted to be clothed with fine linen bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, write this, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the lamb. And he said to me, these are true words of God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him but he said to me, you must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your comrades who hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for this, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Hear what the spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God.
O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you alone are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall, fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Matthew. The Pharisees and the Sadducees came to test Jesus. They asked him to show them a sign from heaven. He answered them, when it is evening, you say, it will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be stormy today for the sky is red and threatening. You know how to interpret the appearances of the sky but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. An evil and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. Then he left them and went away. When the disciples reached the other side, they had forgotten to bring any bread. Jesus said to them, watch out and beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They said to one another, it is because we have brought no bread. And becoming aware of it, Jesus said, you have little faith. Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not perceive? Do you still not remember the five loaves for the 5,000 and how many baskets you gathered? Or the seven loaves for the 4,000 and the baskets you gathered? How can you fail to perceive that... I was not speaking about bread. Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he had not told them to be aware, be aware of the yeast of the bread, but of the teachings of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God.
Hear our cry, O God. And listen to our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Help us, O God, our Savior. Deliver us, Deliver us and, and forgive us our sins. Look upon your congregation. Give to your people the blessing of peace. Declare your glory among the nations. And your wonders among all peoples. Do not let the oppressed be shamed and turned away. Never forget the lives of your poor. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you. And your your favor favor to those who are true of heart. heart. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. So So shall shall we rejoice and be glad all all the days days of our life. Friends, what shall we pray for today? We need to pray for Luciano's um, cousin, Vittorina, who is on, who is dying and her family who is keeping watch. May they, may their hearts be consoled in some way. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Ask your prayers for Michelle as she's traveling and for all of us as we are picking up more and more activities um, and the virus remains a part of our life. Mm -hmm. Lord, in your mercy. Your prayer. Pray a prayer of thanksgiving for a friend who is starting a new job soon and a prayer of travel mercies for another friend who will travel to see family. Lord, in your mercy. I have a prayer of thanksgiving for Casey, who has now been working for the CDC for a year and has poured all of herself into that um, in thanksgiving for um, for the difference that she has made. And I ask your prayers for Julius Jones, who is on death row here in Oklahoma and doesn't have much longer. I pray um, that God may speak to Governor Stitt and um, help him recognize the mercy that Julius Jones or the justice that Julius Jones deserves um, and that we may uh, not execute an innocent man. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. As we prepare to celebrate Thanksgiving with its, with abundance on our tables, may we remember that many people remain worried about where their next meal is coming from or where the rent money is going to how that's going to appear. Let us pray for all those who are in any kind of need, physical or mental. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer.
The Lord be with you. And also with With you. you. Let us pray. Lord God of hosts, who clothed your servant Martin the soldier with the spirit of sacrifice and set him as a bishop in your church to be a defender of the Catholic faith. Give us grace to follow in his holy steps, that at the last we may be found clothed with righteousness in the dwellings of peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, Receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God of the present moment, God who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. Bring them courage to endure what cannot be avoided. For your will is health and wholeness. You are God and we need you. Amen. Let's say together the prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, God, you've given us grace for this time, time, one accord, accord, to make our common supplication supplication to you. you. You And you have promised through your well-loved Son son, that when two or three three are gathered gathered together together in his his name, name, you you will be in the midst midst of them. them. Fulfill Fulfill now now our desires and petitions and be best for us. Granting, granting us in this in world this knowledge world, of your truth, knowledge of your truth, truth and in the age and to come, age to come life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.